Hi everyone, I'm Shruti Ramesh from Chennai. I'm working in Nokia Solutions and Networks. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you all my experience in test automation as a fresher, the mistakes I made and what I learned from those mistakes. I worked in testing systems for alarm traps. This testing can be done manually as well as using automation. Manual testing can be laborious as well as time consuming and so automation was used. There are several tools and frameworks that are available for test automation. And one such framework is robot framework. In robot framework, test cases are written to test and automate software processes. For example, in this picture, we can see that there are two test cases, my test and other test, and another test. These test cases form what is called a suit. Therefore, a suit contains several test cases. We can also write keywords that can be common to the test suit and we can include these keywords inside our test cases as per the requirement. Now let me share two of the many mistakes that I did and, and what I learned from those mistakes. One was, I did not check for consistent pass of test cases. In general, test cases must pass individually as well as on the suit level on multiple executions. I did not check if my test case is passed on all the executions. And because of this, on later executions, some of the test cases failed. So the reason for this was the sleep time that I had fixed for the system to receive the alarm traps was not appropriate. On certain executions, the system was able to receive the alarm traps. On certain other executions, the system was unable to receive the alarm traps. So therefore, I had to go for trial and error and fix the value for which the system was able to receive alarm traps all the time, or otherwise, the time for which the test case is passed on all executions. So the takeaway from here is that we need to ensure that our test cases pass on all executions without any failures. The next mistake was I forgot to revert a common variables value at the end of the suit. So after writing the test cases, I delivered them. My test cases as a suit was combined with those of other testers. There was a variable that was common to all the suits and I had changed it according to my requirement and had forgotten to change the value back to its original value. Because of this, the suits that followed mine failed. So on debugging, I found out that the issue was because of this common variable and I fixed it. Robot Framework's log file was very helpful in debugging this issue. On execution, Robot Framework generates log files, which provide detailed information on the test cases that we write. We can understand where we have gone wrong by looking at these log files. So therefore, we need to ensure that the test cases that we write do not affect other testers' test cases or any other test cases in general on integration. The other things that I learned from test automation are, first is, we should not try to automate everything. We can try to expand the scope of our test cases, but must not end up automating everything. For instance, one requirement for one of the test cases was to test the system for parent alarms. I included a condition to test for near end alarm as well. This expanded the scope of the test case. So that is okay because it is possible. Next is, it is okay for executions to fail because it will provide us an opportunity to explore or envision different possible ways of testing. We might be testing our system in one way, but there could be several other ways by which the same system can be tested. So we need to explore. Personally, whenever an execution failed, I took it positively. I debugged, explored, and tried to fix the issues. This made test automation much more interesting and exciting to me. Use of keywords can be efficient. As I mentioned earlier, we can write keywords common to a suit. We can combine common functionalities together in a keyword and include these keywords in our test cases as per the requirement. So this will reduce the amount of code that we write and thereby make it much efficient. Review the code and execute well before delivering. We need to review our code properly for delivering, personally as well as with other peers, we need to review them. For instance, if I had reviewed my code properly, I could have avoided the issue that I faced when my test cases were integrated with the test cases of other testers. 
So that is all about my share of experience in test automation. I've shared the mistakes I've made and what are the things that I learned. I'm sure we can avoid such mistakes in future for better testing. So thank you all. Happy testing. Thanks to TestTab community for providing me this opportunity to be a part of TestFlix 2020. Good day. Thank you all.